Diego is a generally fit CrossFitter. Lex is a ex-soccer player, and Jolie's about the same. Generally active, uh, but not in a competitive way. So you have kind of a range of different levels. Myself uh, would kind of fit into that group as well. First actual double bind uh, placebo study was all done on effectively triathletes, and so when people saw those results, they're like, "How can it relate to me?" Because they're tip of the spear in terms of athletic achievement and performance. Theoretically, a normal athlete would actually have a better increase than someone who's already pushed their athletic threshold as far as they could go. And so, what we have seen in in uh, consecutive or in, in further clinical studies and also open label tests is a similar increase for you know non ultra competitive athletes Yeah, so when we did our two double blind placebo controlled uh, crossover studies eight years ago, we didn't really document them that well. And they were kind of closed environments. We didn't have a videographer. Uh, we keep coming back to what this can do um, to athletes and non-athletes on a VO2 max basis. Sure, we can show aerobic threshold, lactate threshold, but VO2 max is actually a little more known athletic indicator. And so here we are, we're documenting a, an open label study of some serious athletes and also non-serious athletes and kind of seeing what their improvements look like on a seven-day basis.